last five months. Um, inflation remains a big question mark, but that is coming under control. ...of, of uh, different technologies and related issues are concerned. Uh, there is an aspect and shade, in my opinion, uh, which needs to be addressed, and that is the not economic competition, but the strategic competition. And uh, strategic competition at times overshadows the economic competition, which is uh, based on the rule-based uh, world order, uh, which everyone has a stake in it. But that desire for dominance, uh, I think so it overshadows at times human creativity, human inquisitiveness, and uh, uh, that opportunity and offer, which should be in equitable sense to everyone, uh, where individual can progress. So, so you do take uh, lawfare as, as a tool, as an element, which at times uh, 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 halts R&D activities, which at times uh, discourages uh, the potential for the further uh, betterment and growth of the technology. So, so this is an angle, I think, so which is less discussed. And uh, we are more interested in the situation management, rationalization of the situation. The, 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 uh, any given situation is arised, and, and we respond in the short term to that, and we try to manage it. And uh, uh, a less a sense of anxiety is our answer for success. So if there is a less sense of anxiety, we all feel that we are all very successful. But if in the long run, uh, if, if we apply it as a principle that it should be available to less powerful, to more powerful, to small, to big, a sense of e equitable distribution of technology and as it has implications uh, for the health services, it has... Uh, from, from military to every, every social services are being impacted from that. So there is a huge population in the world uh, which is bereft uh, when such strategic competition uh, occurs uh, in terms of technology. And many impoverished nations and countries, they are completely uh, out of the, uh, that sphere where they can take advantage of the 21st century science advancement. I mean, what for someone in Peru or in, in, in Kandahar or in uh, Balochistan, my home province, that he or she has to take advantage from artificial intelligence? Yes, in Davos, in, 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 in New York or in Beijing for that matter, uh, there would be advantageous uh, groups who would be taking advantage from that. How do we make that uh, uh, equitable to everyone, I think so, is the main challenge, is the main theme. Uh, until and unless we don't do that, uh, it would trigger further conflicts. Uh, it would not just trigger further conflicts, it would uh, amplify the existing conflicts. So amplification of the conflicts, triggering of the conflicts, uh, non-availability, uh, to a large uh, population of the globe is another angle uh, which I feel uh, needs to be uh, discussed. Thank you. Thank you.